Today I'm going to teach you how to do a 360 flip on a skateboard. So I'm going to talk about my foot position and some different ways to do three flips. But first, let's go back and talk about some beginner steps before you start learning how to do a 360 flip. So 360 flips are not an easy trick. It's kind of an intermediate to advanced trick. You want to know how to do a pop shove it and a kick flip. It'd be good if you knew how to do a three shove as well, but you don't necessarily have to know how to do that. If you want a quick way to learn how to do some flip tricks, try taking your trucks and wheels off. This is what's called a carpet board. You can learn to do shoves. You can learn to do three shoves on this. It's a little bit harder to do a kick flip on a carpet board because you don't have as much leverage that you get with the trucks and wheels. So you might want a steeper board, but I mean, it can definitely be done. So yeah, mess around with that a little bit. Maybe a varial flip on the carpet. So the three flip is much easier on a regular skateboard than on the carpet board. I think a laser flip would actually be easier for me. Maybe when I'm fully recovered over whatever's going on with my head, I'll be able to do it. But we'll do some on a regular board. So for me, it depends on the kind of board I'm on. If I'm on a regular popsicle board, I've got my back foot right in that pocket and kind of on my toes. So my heels lifted up because I'm really getting a lot of scoop. My front foot is behind the front bolts at an angle like this. So yeah, I'm just gonna take my back foot, scoop as hard as I can, and then just give the slightest flick with the front foot. The front foot stays up here, waits for the board to come around and you wanna kind of hit yourself in the foot with the nose or the front bolts. Catch it, put your back foot back on, land and roll away. Of course, when you first do this, you're just barely popping it. It's kind of rolling around on the ground. You're not actually like flinging your back foot way off, catching it really stylish. It looks like you're catching it with both feet at the same time, but you're actually, you are catching it with your front foot. Anytime you do more work with your back foot, your front foot catches it. So if you're doing more work with your front foot, like a kick flip, then it flips right up into your back foot and your back foot catches the tail like this and puts it down. So in that way, the three flip is more like a shove than it is like a kick flip. With the shove, you're popping with your back foot. Your front foot doesn't do anything but catch the board in the same way that it catches the three flip. It's actually going, like the regular shove's going the same direction as the three flip, so it really feels similar where your front foot catches it and puts it down. If you have a space like this inside to learn this, you can put a couch behind you so that if you do fall, you fall back on something really soft. I want to go outside so bad. If any of you guys know how to get my brain to understand how to regulate heat and uh, work when I'm outside and not pass out, then uh, let me know in the comment section below because I'm really wanting to get over this as soon as possible so I can live my life. So three flips, like most flip tricks, are easier on a smaller board and on a popsicle shaped board. When I was first learning them, I did feel more comfortable on a bigger 10 inch wide board. That's just because I had more room to catch it and land on the board and I felt like my balance was a little worse. But right now, I feel more comfortable doing these on a small light board. Usually indies are better for 360 flips because they shorten the wheelbase. But I actually went through the steps of shortening this wheelbase, moving the trucks in so it's got a 14 inch wheelbase. So I can do it on thunder hollow lights and have a really light setup. So I like kind of a mellow nose and tail and just a short wheelbase right now. So that short wheelbase just makes the board pop quicker and spin faster. For some reason, just moving those wheels in just helps me with three flips. I really struggle doing three flips with the Andy Anderson board because it has a 15 inch wheelbase. But other than that, most of my boards, I can do it pretty easily. It's easier in the basement than it is on the carpet because you have more slide. The wheels slide more like they do at an indoor park. In a parking garage or an indoor park, it's way easier to do 360 flips. I remember doing like 10 in a row while somebody filmed me in a parking garage one time. I'm gonna see how many I can actually do right now, but I am getting extremely hot. Even though I've got air conditioning, I've got a fan up there, I'm gonna have to use this fan as well because I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I definitely couldn't make it outside right now. I still haven't actually figured out what's wrong with me. Might have had a heat stroke, I'm not sure. All right, that feels pretty good. So let's see, let's see how this goes. All right.
right, we got one. Oh man, hand touching all over the place. Because I'm not rolling. Oh man, it is weird. It feels like a totally different trick on carpet. I think it is actually easier on a slick surface like a parking garage or like an indoor skate park. One thing that helps for me is I move my foot back farther, uh, like right in here, right in the middle of the board, and that makes it easier for me. Especially when I was doing it on the carpet, I felt myself really wanting to move my foot back farther than I normally do at the skate park, because normally when I do these, I'm doing them out of a quarter pipe or out of a bank ramp. I don't do a lot of them on flat ground, so normally I have my foot up here, and it just makes it easier to have balance when you're going out of a quarter pipe. But if I'm doing them just stationary, it's actually easier to move my foot farther back. I think when I first learned these, I really had my foot way back, even farther than halfway across the board. You really don't want it to move forward that much, but when you're not rolling and when you're not going this way, the board and you seem to want to go that way, uh, especially on this carpet. You can try it in grass or on carpet, but I do feel like it's actually easier while rolling for this particular trick. For the kick flip and the shove, might be easier to learn on carpet or in the grass. Also, I did get some free Avenue suspension trucks, the bigger ones that are nine inches wide in the mail. I'm excited about making a video about those, but I haven't been able to because it's been too hot outside. It's 97 degrees outside. It feels over 100, it says on the weather app. If I just go out to my car for a second, I get these really bad headaches and I'm afraid I'm gonna wreck. Uh, I still haven't gotten over that completely. Maybe I'll be back. Hopefully I'll be back in the fall actually doing videos outside and actually going places. I feel like trapped in the house right now, but hopefully I'll be able to get back outside soon. I went up to Michigan for a while, but I need to actually go up to like the top of Canada in order to like cool down a little bit. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, scroll through my channel, check out some of my other videos, and hit that subscribe button, because I got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.